my vehicle was blown up, completely smashed all my lower legs below the knee. I went to see a specialist and he said, you can stay as you are and we can manage the pain or we can amputate both legs and you can start again. You go from living life in a, in a certain way to pressing the massive reset button. The Marathon de Saab, it's six marathons in five days. It was an opportunity to just find out what I could do again to push myself physically. I enjoyed it for that. You know, it's very raw. In the middle of the day when you're baking hot, I was thinking, I still want to be here. I still want to be doing this. You know people have given to the charity and people wish you well and all the emails you get in the tents at night. I promise you that every single one of those people is with you when you cross the line. For British double amputee Duncan Slater, this is the week of truth. The Marathon des Sables is the ultimate test. The first double leg amputee to complete the 250 kilometer course, six marathons in six days. Our work will always carry on. We're always here to, to help veterans that come forward. You know, we're here to help them. We're here to get them back on track and, and to get them back to how life should be. Although the war is over, there are people still injured out there that, that need the help. Some people, their whole lives are unfortunately dictated to by their depression or their, their sort of psychological challenges. They've got to do their own marathon to sab, which may be just coming forward, which may seem like a mountain to climb, but, but we're here, you know, we're, we're here for them and that's what we do. The money raised is there to help people, it's there for people's mental health, so please keep supporting charities like Walking With The Wounded.